Hello to all my college football friends out there. Welcome to another segment of the Buckeye Vinny YouTube channel sports show. My friends, i got to give a special shout out first to a friend of mine and subscriber. Goes by the name of GhostShip85 who gave me this suggestion video to do today about Georgia Dogs football program. Let's get started. I titled this the heart and soul of the Georgia Dogs in 2023. Now, my friends, when you stop and look at this exceptional, rich in tradition football program, obviously you think of their back-to-back -back national championship titles in 2021, defeating Alabama 33-18, to and just last season, 2022, putting a thumping, totally embarrassment, of TCU, beating the Horn Frogs 65-7. to And now we're talking about the dogs looking to three-peat. And when you might ask yourselves the heart and soul of the dogs' football program and where does it start, so, yes, you would have to look at their very talented wide receiving core, without a doubt. Lad McConkey, Brock Bowers, Arian Smith, no doubt about that. You would have to look at their very talented running back position, okay? Without a doubt. Milton leading the way. Robinson will be finding a lot of time coming off that bench. And so, for me, their skill set position players are ranked very high in college football as we speak. And let's give credit where credit's due. Yet to be tested, but without a doubt, very talented Carson Beck. Strong arm quarterback. Not afraid to run the football when the pocket breaks down. But, my friends, when you look at the overall heart and soul for 2023 of the Georgia Dogs, you have to look at that mighty, fierce O-line. For starters, this is an O-line that has protected Stetson Bennett the past two, three years, okay? And this is an O-line that is coming in for 2023 with some of their starters coming back. Now, this is a very physical O-line, without a doubt. They could open up some mighty big holes for these talented running backs that I mentioned, but the big part of the Georgia Dogs getting back to the promised land and possibly three-peating, is going to have to be protecting Carson Beck. Just like how they protected Stetson Bennett. Now, when you look at this, you know, the O-line of any team is very, very underrated, okay, without a doubt. You stop and look at a team's O-line, and they do not get the credit that they deserve. And I'm talking... In rich and tradition football programs, I'm talking Michigan, I'm talking Notre Dame, the Buckeyes, okay, Alabama, all known for their big, strong O-line. But do they get the credit that they deserve? Most of the time, they do not. So I'm here to give the Dogs O-line the credit that they truly deserve. Now, when you stop and look at the heart and soul of Georgia, I just finished mentioning the O-line. Now you have to look at their big physical, and I'm just going to say, for the most part, quick D-line. Okay? Now, these are very strong young men on the D-line and the O-line. But when you look at this D-line, we are talking about players like Mikel Williams, Javon Dumas Johnson, Javon Bullock. Now, these are players that in 2022 helped lead that D-line with 30 
five sacks last season. Mikel Williams, four and a half sacks. Dumas Johnson with four. And Javon Bullard with three and a half. All physical D linemen, to say the least. Now when you stop and look at this D line, they helped lead the Georgia Dogs defense last season, giving up a stingy 14 points a game. In 2021, their D-line only yielded 10 points a game on defense. Phenomenal defense in 2021. In the goofy 2020 season, and we all know what I mean by that, totally strange year. This is a team, ironically, in 2020, gave up 20 points a game. Very uncharacteristic for the Donks. Now, I'm not saying giving up 20 is horrible, but when you stop and look at it, again, in 2022, they only gave up 14. 2021, they only gave up 10. And in 2019, Kirby Smart and that most definitely physical defense in 2019 only gave up 12.5 points per game. So, my friends... In the last four years, three out of four years, the dog's defense only yielded 14 points or less three out of the last four years. A tremendous feat, without a doubt. And when you look at that D-line, again, strong, physical, and quick, okay? I think, the, I think a lot of the opponents look at this D-line as big, okay, without a doubt, but they look at that D-line D assuming big, strong, but slow. Not the case. This is a very quick D-line. And I'm going to just tell you this much. The heart and soul of Georgia Dogs football in the up-and-coming 2023 season will be no doubt but the O-line and that big, physical, strong, quick D-line. My friends... One more time, a special shout out to Ghost Ship 85 who gave me this phenomenal suggestion video to do today. Thank you, Ghost Ship 85. If you are new to my channel, please click on that subscribe button. Always free to do so. If you like this video, please smash that like button. And like always, all my dog friends out there, obviously, Please comment down below. I would love to read your comments of this video. And do you agree that the heart and soul of the Dogs 2023 football team will rely on the O-line and the D-line? Like always, peace out. God bless. It's all Buckeye Vinny has for today. Everyone have a blessed evening. Buckeye Vinny's out of here.